Hi guys, in this video I'm going to do a food tour of Hotel Escaret Mexico. If you're thinking about visiting the resort and wondering how the food is, you've come to the right place. In this video I'm going to talk in general about the food, rank the restaurants from best to worst, and also give you some tips and tricks for making the most of your time while you're there in terms of food. So I think this goes without saying, but when you're in Mexico, stick to the Mexican food and you probably won't be disappointed. So my absolute favorite place to eat was La Trajinera and this is a small seafood buffet that was located right next to the infinity pool. You don't need reservations to come here and it's a buffet so everyone can get what they want. First of all, the location in my opinion is probably the best out of all the restaurants just because it's outdoors, it's right next to this gorgeous infinity pool and I love the bright colors that they use on the chairs. Um, they also had the best selection of ceviche and that was my favorite thing to eat while I was at Escaret. Some restaurants have ceviche but they don't have everything and this restaurant just seemed to have everything. Every single type of fish that they serve and you can have the pre-made ceviche or you can ask them to make um, something custom tailored to your liking. So this was probably one of the smaller restaurants that they had on the property, but I just liked it because I like I liked eating ceviche and that's mostly what I ate um, when I went there. And they also, if you don't like you know ceviche, you can get grilled fish, grilled seafood. They had a bar where they were grilling fresh fish and they had um, grilled octopus which was also really good it was grilled in a garlic butter sauce and we got that a couple of times and they also have salads and other dishes if you're not super into fish but if you love fresh seafood then this is definitely the place to come I think they have the best selection here and you can also order things that are not out like dessert and I think I also saw people ordering pizza my second favorite restaurant is La Playa and I ate here once for lunch and once for dinner. Lunch is definitely my favorite. I think they have one of the best lunches. Uh, it's a sit down and order type of restaurant and they have just really good fresh food for lunch. They have a nice selection of ceviche, a nice selection of grilled foods. Everything we ate was just so delicious. And it's in this underground cave type of environment. So it just feels really upscale and fancy, but it's also casual at the same time. Um, we always got lots of drinks, of course, and this was one of the places where I just forgot to film. So. Uh, a lot of the things that I'm showing you guys are not the best foods because when something really good came I just ate it and um, I mean there were so many good things here except for this soup don't order the soup um, but I highly recommend this place I heard the grilled uh, octopus for dinner is so delicious so um, definitely check that out you don't need reservations to come here by the way so my third favorite restaurant is El Mercado this is a massive buffet. I think it probably has the best breakfast. I found it a little bit overwhelming because it was so huge. Um, and you can spend a lot of time there waiting in line for things because it could get crowded in the morning. But my favorite thing here was probably the homemade quesadillas. And this is one of my favorite things that I ate on the property. Everything about this was homemade. The tortillas were made fresh. Uh, there's a woman making the tortillas and then the other woman sitting next to her was making the quesadillas and they had different kinds of meat. They also had a corn one and they were just so delicious, especially when you paired it with the fresh salsa. And this cart had some tamales, I think. I didn't get to try these because I was already really full and I only ended up eating breakfast here for one meal. This is the almond bar which also had a very long line. They had fresh squeezed orange juice as you can see there. Uh, these are various meats and cheeses. So they had a very international style breakfast. They had crepes, they had bread, they had bacon and eggs, also lots of Mexican food. They also had this drink that was really good. It was um, it was coffee. It was Mexican coffee but it had a cinnamon chocolatey flavor to it. And this is what it is. And it comes in these mugs 
it, they had these at all the buffets and it was really good. Um, fresh fruit and yogurt. There is a line in the back where you can get um, different pieces of fruit and I stood in line for a long time waiting for fruit. If I could do it over again, I would just get the mixed fruit in the front because uh, the line took forever. They see you at your table and then you can order drinks. For some reason, they don't seem to serve espresso-based drinks at the table. So um, if you want an espresso-based drink, you can get it at the espresso bar. This is a juice bar. You can also order green juice at the table. But if you don't want to wait around for someone to take your order, then you can just get what you want at the buffet. So my fourth favorite restaurant is Chibali, and this is a buffet restaurant. We ended up eating breakfast here a lot because uh, my sister-in-law liked this place. It's a buffet, but it's smaller and a lot more manageable than El Mercado, and they have like a pretty good selection of things. So the reason I like El Mercado better than El Chibali is because El Mercado has those quesadillas with the fresh corn tortillas. And this place had these tacos, which were pretty good. Um, they have like barbacoa and lamb that you could put over um, a crisp tortilla and it was really good with the salsa. I guess this place also had case uh, tamales which I don't remember but I'm seeing in my videos. Um, but I prefer the quesadilla over the tacos that they had here. The edge that El Chibali has over El Mercado is that they they have an open fruit bar that you can you, you could just serve yourself. At El Mercado, you have to wait in line and it took forever to, to get my, my fruit plate. Uh, what I really liked eating here was this passion fruit. It's a yellow passion fruit. It's a little different from the typical purple passion fruit that you get in the US. And it has a milder flavor, but it was so delicious and I ate so many of these. And it was nice to not have to wait in line for it either. So if I recall correctly, they also had an omelet station. They had a nice pastry selection. We like these uh, heart palmiers, I think they're called. Yeah, we ate a lot of these. So here is what I would typically get, a big old plate of fruit and a taco or two. This is the Mexican coffee that I had mentioned. Uh, that they have at El Mercado and most of the places. Um, it's just not laid out as fancy as it is at El Mercado. So I guess if you're not that into Mexican food, you'll probably have a better selection at El Mercado because they had more international foods. Here's a better view of the taco bar. Uh, the other nice thing about El Chibali is that they have this candy shop slash ice cream shop and it's kind of nice because you can just um, get some candy and snacks to go. They have a lot of these Mexican lollipops, which we ended up really liking. Um, so we ended up buying some from Amazon when we came home. And like they had some of the same stuff for a couple of days, but then they switched it out after a few days. They had these jelly beans and a bunch of gummies, which I think are the same gummies that they give you in your room, or at least some of them are and they also have ice cream and cotton candy so this is just a really cute little candy bar and you don't have to pay extra for it it's you know if you're if you're getting the all-inclusive package then it's all included so we took some stuff to go and we brought it with us when we went to the parks the next one is teatro del rio which is a dinner and a show they have um, a six or seven course meal and you can watch a show with it. And there's two different shows. I can't remember what they are, but um, there's one that shows on like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and the other one shows on Tuesday and Thursday. So if you want, you can watch two different shows while you're there. Um, it was really fun. It was a nice experience to get dressed up and have a nice dinner with the kids. Um, if your kids are not able to sit through like a two or three hour meal though, this is probably not um, the best thing for them. There were some kids there and I did see that they served kids meals, which was like pizza and chicken fingers. So if your kids don't like Mexican food, then you could probably order them something different. So our kids are pretty um, adventurous eaters, so we just got them the regular adult meal and I mean, I think it's a good experience for them to have a multi-course meal as opposed to just pizza and chicken fingers. 
most of the foods were um, fine for kids to eat. There's one thing that had jalapeno in it, and I think the dessert had um, liquor in it. So instead of, they gave the kids a different dessert that had strawberry ice cream instead of um, a sorbet that had mezcal in it. But it was a good experience. One thing that you should know is that um, they start seating people in the order that you arrive. So if you arrive on the earlier side, then you get a seat that's closer to the, the stage, which is nice. But then you have to wait longer because I think from the time you are seated until the time dinner is served, it was like an, it was over an hour. I think we got there around, I don't know, either 5.45 or 6.45. They didn't start ser serving food until after eight. So it was quite a long time. We were sitting there for a long time, um, waiting for other people to be seated and also just being served these drinks. They had a lot of non-alcoholic beverages and it was fun to get drinks, um, but we were really hungry by the time the food arrived. The show itself was really entertaining. It started out a little bit slow, but then once once they get all the dancers on the stage and everyone's playing live music and there's live music and singing and it's just really fun to watch. I think my favorite part was this scene where they had a flamenco dancer coming out of a painting. I just thought that was really fun to watch. The singer was, she was just so amazing. She had the most amazing voice and I think the kids really enjoyed it too. It was a long show, but it was a good experience and it was fun. So here's the dessert that I was talking about. This is the liquor lace sorbet that I mentioned, and that's like a chocolate cake. I mean, the presentation on this meal was really fun. Oh, and this was a little chocolate ball that was filled with liquor. So the kids had the same cake, but they didn't have that chocolate ball inside. So yeah, I mean, wasn't my favorite meal in terms of food, but just it was just a fun overall experience and it was fun to get dressed up and go out and watch a show. And I think it was a really good experience for the kids too. But you do have to make a reservation in advance and it is quite a late night for the kids. Next, Zingao. This was the Asian restaurant on the property. It's like a Japanese fusion restaurant and you can get seated at the teppanyaki bar, which is sort of like a Benihana type of thing. There's also um, just regular seating where you can order sushi and other food. So uh, I made a reservation for this restaurant. I heard it was really, it got a lot of good reviews online from other, you know, YouTubers. So uh, it seemed like it was gonna be promising, but as an Asian person who's lived in Japan, honestly not my favorite it was okay it was pretty good but i don't know I, I don't it wasn't my favorite restaurant and i would probably you know rather go to la trajinera and eat more ceviche but it was nice to come here just once for something different and it definitely had the atmosphere of a nice restaurant so again it's nice to get dressed up and feel like you're going somewhere fancy so this is the combo platter which i wouldn't recommend ordering i felt like there were too many rolls that I didn't really like and I wouldn't have ordered on my own. I just liked the fish and the cuts of sashimi were pretty nice, like they were pretty thick, but uh, the cuts of sushi were really thin. So if I could order again, I would just order sashimi, maybe like a few sushi pieces so you could have some rice, but I prefer like a, a high fish to rice ratio, so a lot more fish and less rice. My husband actually layered a piece of sashimi on top of the sushi pieces so that he could get a bitter, bigger cut of fish. The desserts, I think this yuzu was probably the best. I was a little bit underwhelmed though when I opened it up because it's just a mousse inside and it was kind of lukewarm, it wasn't cold. Um, I wish it had a little bit of a different texture like a cake and ice cream and mousse inside, um, but it was just uh, kind of blah when you opened it up, but it was definitely really pretty. Don't order this bao, it was awful. And there was also another um, chocolate dessert, which was pretty good. So I would either order the chocolate one or the yuzu mousse. Okay, my least favorite restaurant of all is Bio. Uh, when I was watching uh, videos reviewing the restaurants at Eshgaret, 
A lot of people said this was their number one, two, or three choice. I mean, I would rank, rank this last out of all the restaurants I tried. It was really pretty and the presentation of the food was so gorgeous and it looked like it was going to taste good, but it just didn't taste good. And I'm not one of those people who eats a lot of meat. I actually like lean towards, I have vegetarian tendencies, but oh, how can you get avocado toast this wrong? It looks so, the avocado toast was so pretty, but I've never had a worse avocado toast in my life. And I, I think it may have been the bread. I don't know. I guess I just, what, what I realized after eating here was that I, I'm not a fan of vegan food at all. But if you're vegan, there's, there's a vegan restaurant on the property. Um, it's a really beautiful and calming space, but I, I would not recommend eating here if you, unless you're vegan. There are some restaurants where you have to make a reservation in advance, and then there are some restaurants where you have to pay extra. And I didn't eat in, at any of the restaurants where you had to pay extra. So in order to make a reservation, you basically have to email the concierge. And I would recommend checking out the restaurants and making the reservations about a month to two weeks in advance. But if you don't end up making any reservations, it's not a big deal because there are plenty of other places to eat that don't require reservations. Um, pretty much all the restaurants except for the ones that require reservations are buffet style and uh, there's a lot of variety. So restaurants I didn't go to, Las Cuevas. Um, this is a Brazilian barbecue restaurant. I just didn't have time to go here. I think that night my kids and I ended up staying in and ordering room service, which was okay. Um, the, por the portions for room service are massive, so we ordered way too much food. And, but it was just fun to like, we, did, we were tired and we didn't feel like going to a restaurant. We had gotten back late from the parks. So it was nice to just take a bubble bath and order room service and have a nice night in. It does take quite a while for them to bring it up. So uh, I would keep that in mind when you're ordering. We also didn't go to Fuego, which is only for the people who are staying at the Fuego complex. We didn't go to Ha, which has a tasting menu and an additional charge, and you do have to make a reservation for that in advance. And then we also didn't go to Cantina Las Farolas, which is um, a dinner plate. They have a, a bar and you can also get dinner there, I think, but we, we ended up not going there. One thing you don't want to miss is the taco cart that's located in front of El Mercado every morning. They serve tacos that are so delicious. They are pork. Um, I don't eat pork, but I did try those and they were good. And then in the afternoon, they have um, a little bit further down. They have a cart that uh, has elote, which is Mexican corn with um, butter, cream, sour cream maybe, and spices it's really good and it's nice to get um, a little cup of elote while you're sitting by the pool in the afternoon um, it's a nice snack when you're going swimming um, and you just want to take a break also uh, the snacks in the room are complimentary they're included with the hotel package and they refill them every day so you shouldn't be shy about eating them or you shouldn't save them um, they're really good and they also give you a little basket every night for turn down service with a, a sweet treat in it, which is uh, really good. My kids saved the baskets. So that's all I can think of in terms of food. I wish I would have had a chance to try everything, but if I could go back, I would probably still eat as many meals as I did at La Trajinera. I would eat more lunches at La Playa and I would eat more quesadillas from El Mercado. If you found this helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And I will be making more videos about my experience and tips and tri tricks for uh, visiting Escaret and parks as well.